recently I was in Alabama with Brian on a business trip and while he is usually inside of the offices, I always try to find something to do. Well, I happen to be in a very, very small town, but this small town had a Walmart and had a goodies. And I walked into goodies just to kind of, you know, give me something to do and just to kind of see what maybe handbags they had because I was kind of hankering for a new handbag. So I walked into goodies and I found a handbag that I liked and I got it. Um, but let me tell you something about this bag. This is a $70 purse and I got it for $38. Um, it was already on clearance and then they asked if I wanted to get an additional 35% off if I applied for a credit card. And I said, sure, I normally say no, but because it was still gonna be a little bit pricey, I said, we'll go ahead and I will apply for it. And then I, obviously if I get approved, I will get the extra 35% off. So I did and I got approved and I got the extra 35% off. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and pay it off and then cl close out that account because I don't ever like to use credit cards. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this purse. I. I'm always very particular about purses. Sometimes I like to have crossbodies, especially if we're going to be walking around um, and I need to carry a bunch of things with me. But I also like to have something that I can throw on my shoulder really quickly too if I'm just going to be running out of my car, like into a store really quick. And then I could just put it in the cart and then just push it with me while I'm walking around. This one gives me that option and that's something that I look for in a purse. Um, I also look for how big it is, what I can hold in there, and um, the color, the size. The, the detail of a purse and this one like caught my eye and I absolutely loved it fell in love I was so happy like I said I got it for $38 and you cannot pass up a good purse like that this one love it so let's go ahead and get started I'll show you guys what this purse looks like because it's so great all right look at this purse it is that rose gold color absolutely love it I love the material on it I love the pattern it's got a pattern the smaller pattern this way and then it's got like a bigger pattern down here and it um, it's by, by G by Guess. Um, never heard of it so it must be like a Guess brand. I don't really know but it doesn't matter because I love this purse regardless. It has a nice little cinch uh, tie. You could like cinch it up really really nicely. Love that. See? So cute. And then um, it has a nice strap on the side here that you can use as a crossbody and it has a nice shoulder strap that you could just use on the shoulder. It's got such cute little detail right here. It's got like a little heart um, chain on it and I'll show you guys what the purse looks right, like. Another on. thing that I'm like super particular about is where the crossbody lays or fits or sits on my side and this one fits so perfectly. I love the length. I love where it sits and it just it's perfect and I can just grab anything that I need right out of my bag so it's really really perfect and convenient. Again love the way um, that it sits love it that it sits like this on my side this is what it looks like absolutely love it isn't this the cutest okay, and i don't know if you're bag. like me but i get really really excited about a nice good bag and i know that i could use this bag for you know years down the road so let's go ahead and get inside i'm going to show you guys how what the what compartments are inside this bag so cute lots of room all right the inside of it looks like this and there's a little pouch or pocket zip pocket right here in the back love that and then as you turn it around there's got um there's there's got there's more little pouches inside of here there's three there's one two and then there's third one right inside here in this bottom love it so there's plenty of room for like um my wallet my camera my other stuff that i put in here so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i actually keep inside of this purse. okay so all of the stuff that you see right here this is what I normally keep in my purse on any given day. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all of this stuff that I keep inside of that new purse. The first thing that I keep in there, obviously, is my phone. And it fits so perfectly inside of one of those little pouches inside of the bag. Um, the other thing that I keep inside of my bag is my tanning lotion because when I go tanning I like to be able to take my lotion with me and my bag is big enough for this tanning lotion. I can just grab it and go. Absolutely love it. Like I said that purse is so perfect it fits this in there just so nicely. The other thing that I keep with me and basically I keep that this inside of this bag but I just got back from tanning earlier and I normally just keep it inside of here but this is what 
what I keep inside of there is my um, tanning sunglasses. I also keep my chapstick in here, hand sanitizer, aspirin, gum. Um, this is one of my little bags that I got from Amy. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the name, but I'll put it down here when I think of it. Um, but this is what I keep in here all of the time. Chapstick, personal ointments, all that good stuff. But this is one of those bags and I keep this inside of that purse as well. The other thing that I keep inside of that purse are my business cards. These business cards are what I hand out to people who sometimes ask me what I'm doing if I'm filming. Um, and this is just one of my business cards. This is Angie in Wonderland on this side and then it's got the Adventures in Wonderland on this side. So I just kind of keep this inside of my purse and I can just grab a card as I need it. And I love this little uh, pouch bag that I got. Um, I think I got this at a TJ Maxx a while ago but it's just so cute. I love the black and the pink. It's just so fitting and it's just so perfect for me. And then the other thing that I keep in there obviously is my wallet. This is my Dooney and Burke wallet that I bought a couple of years ago. Absolutely love this wallet. I bought this um, to match my Dooney and Burke purse that I use from time to time. But this is something that I keep in there as well. And you can see this is a large wallet um, and this fits very nicely inside of that bag. All right, the other thing that I keep inside of that bag is this. This thing, I just got this because I was running out of space to keep all of my SD cards and my batteries for my camera. So I found this at Walmart for like $4.99 and it just unfolds like this. And this was over in the camera area. Right now, I only keep, right now I've been keeping just my batteries inside of here and then some more SD cards, but it's got so many other pockets where I could store so many other extra things. It's got these where you can store pens, which I probably will eventually. It's got three little pouches down here that are made of net. And then another like netting uh, zipper pocket. So again, this is something very, very nice that I can keep with me. Um, it keeps all of my SD cards and my batteries um, corralled in nice little locations. I'm not um, spilling them out um, for my little tiny bag that I had um, because I was, I was losing these. I was dropping them all over. I was dropping batteries. But another thing that I like about this is that all of these batteries are charged. When those batteries die in my camera, I can put the dead batteries batteries over here on this side and I know that all of these batteries are the ones that need to be charged and these ones are the ones that are still charged. Same with the SD cards. All of these SD cards are empty. As soon as I use up an SD card, I can put them in one of these little pouches. I can put it over here and I know that this is one of the SD cards that I need to download on my computer. So this is going to come in really, really handy. I've only had it for a day. Um, so, so far I really, really like it and know eventually, like I said, I will be able to utilize more of these spaces. Um, with like a cleaning wipe, lens cleaners, um, more camera equipment that I need to, battery chargers can go in here as well. So that's going to come in really, really handy and that's going to be super nice. And I love the way that it just kind of folds up so nicely and then it locks in place love this thing. It's so nice. Like I said, this also fits inside of that bag. All right. I keep two of these because I think one of them is about empty. Yeah, like this one's almost empty. Um, you guys know I always love these Nivea lip, clean, uh, lip balms. Love these things. So I keep two of them in my purse because I know that this one is almost gone. And then this one is full. So I, went, I go ahead and just keep these in um, one of those little um, pouches on the inside. That way I can just grab it and go. I don't leave it inside of here because then I have to fumble through it while I'm driving down the road. And I don't like to do that. I just like to know that I can grab these when I need them and I know where they're at. So, so perfect and so easy. All right. And the last thing that I keep inside of my bag is a little notebook. In this notebook, I keep receipts of um, places that we were just, well, I lost all my receipts. Where'd they all go? Here's a receipt. Um, I write down things um, that we've that we're doing that I have to share um, for tax reasons for YouTube or whatever. Um, restaurant uh, receipts, if I go out to eat and I put it on uh, my Wonderland account, then that's what I use for this. And I love this. This is a leather bound um, little notebook. Um, this is something, I picked this up at Office Max. I think it was like $16, but I absolutely love it because it is a leather bound um, uh, notebook and it keeps a lot of great notes in here and I absolutely love the way that it looks. So, and this fits inside of that bag 
as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I put all of this stuff in that bag and how it all looks. Alrighty, so this is what the purse looks like with all of the contents in it. As you guys can see, I have my phone inside one of the little pouches on the side. I have my little business cards in the little pouch as well. It fits so perfectly in there. I have my little notebook right here, right here at the bottom. I have my wallet right there in the front, right here. I can grab it. I like to keep my wallet like this because then I can just quickly grab it and it's not down there sideways. But this is the way that I always like to keep it. My little pink pouch for all of my batteries and SD cards I keep right here. And then you guys can see that little um, Disney bag is right here as well. It's so perfectly and it fits so nicely inside of here. And then lastly, I have my um, tanning lotion that I have just tucked away over here in the corner and everything, like I said, just fits so nicely and perfect in here. And then in this little zipper part right there is where I keep my, like I'll throw a pen in here, um, my chapstick will keep in here, I'll throw my keys in there when I go into a store or whatever. But anyway, I love the way that this bag is. I love the way that it, um, it's just, it's a perfect bag for me. This is one of those like perfect bags. Absolutely love it. Um, love the way that it, um, keeps everything so nicely corralled inside of there. Love this bag. It is so cute. Isn't this the cutest bag? So excited about it. I love it. And this is so perfect because it keeps everything for me that I need inside of here. Plus little extras that I may need on down the road because I will throw my camera in here as well and it just fits so perfectly down there on the side. All right, guys, so there you have it. There is a little uh, sneak peek of my new bag that I got at Goodies the other day. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on YouTube.